Hello everyone and welcome to part two of my 2014 beauty favorites. So this video is going to be dedicated entirely to hair care, skin care, face care, which I guess is the same thing as skin care, um, and tools. So tools meaning like brushes and stuff like that. So everything that is not makeup related. So if you are interested in my makeup beauty favorites, then I will link that video down below so you can check it out. I will also link below my entire playlist of my monthly favorites. So you can check all of that fun stuff out below. Okay, so let's start with tools and brushes and things of that sort because that's what I'm holding in my hands. <laughs> so this year, and by this year I mean 2014, it's obviously 2015 now because I'm pretty late at filming this video, but um, anyways, in 2014 I discovered a, a bunch of brushes that I now are like, they're part of my holy grail makeup routine that I can't live without basically. So the first kind of group of brushes are the Sigma Beauty brushes. Um, I dwindled it down to two of them that are my absolute favorite. The first one is the Large Angled Contour Brush, the F40. This applies blush just like a champ. Um, I don't think I could apply blush with anything other than this uh, in the future. <laughs> so that has been an ultimate favorite. And then the second Sigma brush that I've been loving is the Tapered Blending E40. This has been a game changer when it comes to blending my eyeshadows. Um, I used to really never be an eyeshadow blender, but I discovered this brush and it makes it so easy that now I, I can't blend without it. So really, really good eyeshadow brush. And then the second kind of set of brushes that I discovered closer to the middle of the year, maybe towards like uh, April of 2014, is the Sephora Pro Airbrush Collection. I have a few of these brushes. But these two have been my like ultimate favorites. So the first one is the number 61. This is the all over powder brush. I use this, as you can see, it's really dirty. I use this every single day to apply my setting powder. The bristles are so incredibly soft and they're very, very dense. So it really kind of packs on the powder. So if you like a more like brush of powder, then you probably wouldn't like this. But I like that to be kind of, you know, packed on there. So this has been fantastic at that. And then the second one is the number 57. This is the Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush. Um, this I use to apply my under eye setting powder and just the way that it's shaped, I mean aside from it being really soft and just really easy to work with, um, the way that it's shaped, it's just so perfect for right there under your eyes. I also use it to apply concealer like right around my nose and it works beautifully. So this line is really awesome. Check it out if you haven't already. The last makeup application tool that I discovered this year is the Beauty Blender. Um, I don't know why I did not use a beauty blender before 2014. I don't know what the heck is wrong with me. So this one is dirty, obviously, because I used it this morning. But this is a total game changer when it comes to applying your foundation. Uh, there's something about just this particular sponge. You cannot duplicate this sponge. You cannot buy a cheaper version of this. It just, they don't work the same, I'll be honest. So something about this little egg-shaped, teardrop-shaped sponge is just amazing. The texture, the density, I'm sure you guys know about these. They're awesome. <laughs> what I use to clean my brushes and sponges, let's talk about that really quick. So I discovered the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. This is supposed to be used to clean your Beauty Blender sponge, but I use it to clean my brushes and my Beauty Blender and it works fantastically. So if you have seen my brush cleaning video tutorials, then you know this just like gets the powder and the eyeshadow and the foundation out of your brushes so quickly and so easily. It's amazing. Now let's transition over to hair care. So um, the tool that I discovered this year for my hair is the wet brush. I think I bought this in like January of 2014, so I used it for pretty much the entire year. This has made brushing out this mane, because I do have a mane, my hair goes down to pretty much my belly button, and this has made brushing it out just so incredibly easy. The bristles are super flexible, so it doesn't like tug on your hair when it's wet. You can also use it on dry hair. 
Um, but it's just made brushing out my hair super, super easy. Something that I did not discover in 2014, but I consistently used and just raved about for the entire year is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I've talked to you guys about this before. I absolutely love this product. I cannot have second or third day hair without this dry shampoo. It's reasonably priced. It's in the like $8 range. And uh, this has been a game changer in my hair routine as well. Just because uh, prior to having dry shampoo in general, I would wash my hair every day, which is not good for it. But um, so I went through several dry shampoos and then I finally found this one probably towards the end of 2013. And I'm never going back. I'm not trying any other shampoo ever anymore. That's a lie. I will. <laughs> but this is a really, really good one. Another product similar to the dry shampoo that I did not discover in 2014, but I consistently used throughout the entire year is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff is fantastic. This is another thing that you have heard me talk about before. But this just leaves my hair so soft, so smooth. It's a heat protectant and it's amazing. I don't think I can wash my hair without this product anymore. So really, really good stuff. Okay, so two new products that I did discover in 2014. The first one is the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. This, I got a coupon for a free sample in my Allure magazine and I went and I picked it up and I tried it and I haven't stopped using it since. I've gone through countless bottles of it. Um, this is a spray that you put in your hair while it's still damp before you blow dry and it's supposed to sp speed up your blow dry. It's supposed to speed up your blow dry time and I think it does to a certain extent but furthermore this product is just it makes your hair silky. It makes it shiny. It makes it look healthy. It smells really good and it's amazing. So loving this. And then another product that uh, Elle Fowler turned me on to is the Oro Florido hair oil. Um, she hauled this in one of her videos probably like in 2013 or 2012 and I didn't get around to buying it until this year. This hair oil is just Oh, it's amazing. It smells really good, first of all. It has like a sweet vanilla scent. But in addition to that, it just leaves your hair kind of like the blow dry spray. It leaves it super soft and super shiny and it smells really good. And it's amazing. I've gone through several bottles of this this year too. Okay, switching over to skincare now. Um, let's talk about what I wash my face with. So something that I discovered in 2014 is the Philosophy Purity One Step Cleanser. This face wash, I will never use another face wash. I mean, that's also a lie. You know I will. But this is one that I know has been, it's become a holy grail product of mine. There's something about this facial cleanser. So it's supposed to be a one-step cleanser, meaning it's supposed to be like a toner and a makeup remover and all of that in one. I wouldn't go that far, but it's just so gentle. It's very gentle. It doesn't irritate my skin. It smells nice. It foams up really well on the Clarisonic. And it's... It's really good stuff. So this is my favorite face wash. And then along with that, I discovered the Philosophy Hope in a Jar Moisturizer. This is another product I have talked to you guys about before. This one's actually almost gone, and this is my second tub of it. Um, it this works all year long. It worked throughout spring and summer and winter and fall. It just it works for all seasons. It's great for my combination skin. I have really combination skin. I have dry cheeks oily t-zone and this works well all over my face all seasons so I'm loving this a lot and I love these two together I think towards the beginning of the year I spent a lot of time perfecting my skincare routine going through different types of cleansers different brands I tried Clinique I tried Dermalogica I tried a, a bunch I tried drugstore stuff I tried Cetaphil I tried everything and I rediscovered these and I just love them. So I don't think I'll try anything ever again. So very recently, towards the end of the year, I have gotten very into eye creams, mostly because I'm starting to notice wrinkles developing around my eyes. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm only 26 years old and I have wrinkles around my eyes. So prior to that, I hadn't ever used eye cream, which is probably my problem. I probably should have used eye cream 
you know, since I've started taking care of my skin. But regardless, I have gotten really into eye creams. My favorite so far that I have found is the Coda Lee, uh, what is it called? SOS Morning Eye Rescue. This is the first eye cream that I have found that doesn't irritate my eyes and make my eyes water. Um, it's been amazing. Um, I have been on an eye cream hunt recently. You will see in some of my upcoming haul videos that I have bought like several different eye creams because this one has been fantastic but I want to try more because I don't think this one is quite thick enough. But regardless, it has been a game changer. I have used it non-stop since I bought it, and it's been a really good eye cream. It's really good for my sensitive eyes. Another skincare product that I discovered for my face in 2014 is the Glam Glow products. I made a video all about these products. Um, I have every single one of the masks. I love them all, but my favorite out of all of them is this one here. This is the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. You can use this as a spot treatment, so you can use it to just dab on blemishes. In fact, I have one right there that I probably should put this on tonight. Or you can use it as a face mask to just kind of detoxify your entire face. Either way, this product works amazing. I hadn't used masks a whole lot prior to this year, and really these are the only masks that I, I do use. and. They're fantastic. So for lip care, um, I have been absolutely loving this Christian Dior Creme de Rose all year. I bought this towards the end of 2013 and I use it almost every night and you can see it's almost gone. I still have enough like kind of around the edges for it to last for another month or two. Um, but this has been the best lip balm that I have ever used. It's like a magic lip balm. If I'm experiencing really dry lips, I will put this on at nighttime, and then when I wake up in the morning, my lips are like rejuvenated. It's amazing. So this has by far been my most favorite lip treatment balm product. For hand cream, my favorite, and this is another product that I discovered in 2013, but have used consistently throughout 2014 is the Seal Bigelow Chapped Hands Remedy. This has been a lifesaver for the fall and winter time. This is like, it, it has 40.3% glycerin in it, which just helps to like restore the dryness in your hands. It's not greasy, it's super long wearing, um, it's like super strength, it has a nice kind of menthol scent to it, and it's been the best hand cream ever so I've been loving this all year. The last non makeup product but still beauty related that I have been absolutely loving throughout the entire year is the La Vanilla Perfume. This has been, this is my third bottle of this so I got this for Christmas in 2013 and I went through my first bottle like super quick and then I bought myself a new bottle and, and this is now my third one that I got again for Christmas in 2014 and oh, this stuff is amazing. It smells like pure vanilla extract. It is sweet. It smells like cupcakes. I got my aunt hooked on it. Um, it's just the most beautiful vanilla scent. If you're a vanilla fan, go to Sephora and smell this. This one is the La Vanilla Pure Vanilla. They have a bunch of others, like they have like a lavender vanilla and a lime vanilla. I don't like any of those. I just like this one. So smell this if you're a vanilla fan. Uh, and the smell lasts all day. It kind of like lingers throughout the day. If you spray it in your hair, then your hair smells like it. And I have been loving this. Oh, I've been loving this so, so much. All right, guys. Well, that is the end of this video. That is the end of my 2014 beauty favorites. Let me know uh, what your favorite non-makeup beauty favorites were in the comment section down below. I'm sorry, I'm like out of breath because right before this, I filmed my makeup favorites and that was like a 30 minute long recording. And now this one has been 20 minutes, so I've been talking for a long time, so I feel like I'm kind of out of breath, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, I, I guess that's the end of this video. I th That's it. So thank you so, so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.